Before we get into today's video, I wanted to talk about the Voltaic Daily Improvement Method or VDIM. This is basically a documentation helping you improve your aim. It gives you routines and if you want, you can read through all of it. And it basically teaches you everything you need to know about each of the clicking scenarios. We have static, dynamic clicking, and then we have precise tracking and reactive tracking. And it basically tells you how to improve and what it does. Also, it has a daily routine method Monday through Saturday. And all you have to do is go in here and say, if you're a novice, you go click on the document and you just hit the link. And what it's gonna do is open up Aim Labs. And this is in Aim Labs, by the way. So make sure you have Aim Labs open before you do this. I also highly recommend you go through and you do the Voltaic Aim Benchmarks. Link will be in the description below to kind of see where you're at. And that way, when you come back to here, you know if you're in the entry level, novice, intermediate, or advanced. I highly recommend this. It's been helping me hit my shots and helping me a lot improving and it's a grind but if you really want to get better on mouse and keyboard i highly recommend this like i said link will be in the top of the description welcome to 2024 everybody it is your guy the dryer newt here and in today's video we are going to be going over the 2024 modern warfare 3 aim guide i've learned a lot of things since the last aim guide that i put out and some things have changed and my perspective on things have changed. So one of the things I want to talk about is a lot of people ask me monitor coefficient, Newt, what monitor coefficient should I use? Guys, it all depends on what you're aiming for, what you're looking at. So before you guys saw my sensitivity and everything, I was on a 3.2 sensitivity and I use a 1.78 uh, monitor coefficient. And a lot of people ask me, yo, why did you switch from zero? Yada, yada, yada. That's just because I wanted a more one-to-one ratio with that sensitivity. I was playing on a 54 centimeter uh, 360 and that was fine, that was good, but I was really struggling to uh, flick on targets and move around. So what I did was I raised my sensitivity to a four and then I uh, used my uh, zero monitor coefficient, went back and it feels fine, flueless. Um, it, it, it's really good and I, the main thing is basically instead of changing my uh, ADS sensitivity and dialing that in I find that just changing the monitor coefficient zero being this like the slowest I guess you could say 1.33 being like the middle ground and 1.78 I'm more close to a one-to-one -one ratio with your ADS uh, it basically just comes down to what you want and how you feel uh, I, i'm changing it all the time because you know what i don't play on one sensitivity all the time right now i'm on four to zero monitor coefficient fine uh the whole point of aim training a misconception a lot of people have is when you're aim training when you're going in and you're aim training you're training specifically for a certain task right so whether that be you know your static clicking right maybe you suck at static clicking maybe you're really shaky maybe you're just trying to fix your mouse control you know that's what you're working on in aim training so when you go into game you have that uh mouse control that you need it doesn't necessarily have to be a one-to-one -one sensitivity it's all about challenging yourself and how you uh actually improve like basically it's challenging yourself right so if it's too easy for you, right, you're getting a high score, raise your sensitivity so that, you know, you have that mouse control. Well, really good aimers will tell you that no matter what sensitivity you play on, you should be able to aim on all sensitivities, you know, within reason, like 20 centimeters all the way up to 80 centimeters, 360. That is the point of aim training. You don't necessarily want to have a one-to-one -one with your aim training sensitivity over to your um, Call of Duty or whatever game you're playing sensitivity, right? Another thing, I see a lot of people playing mouse and keyboard like they're on controller, okay? Don't do that. You're not on controller, you're on mouse and keyboard. The way you approach gunfights is completely different than you play on a uh, controller, right? Controller, I would say you're a little more careless. You can get away with certain shots. You have to be, you have to be smart about your gunfights. You just can't be willy-nilly going out challenging everything. You have to be smart about your gunfights, and I know, it's a lot of thinking, but if you look at the top controller players and you look at the top mouse and keyboard players, 
their play style is completely different. And one can argue, oh, you turn slower, blah, blah, blah. Yes and no, but again, you are on mouse and keyboard. Do not play like you are on controller. Try to be precise, try to be smart, try to think about your gunfights and try to react to certain situations. If you are at a disadvantage, it's okay to back off and reposition so you get the advantage. Another thing, guys, a lot of people post their best clips on uh, mouse and keyboard. A lot of people post, you know, their one-off. They've been streaming for, I don't know, four or five hours a day, and they post their best clips they've gotten. This is not an accurate representation of how it is to play on mouse and keyboard. That's why I kind of like showing full gameplays of myself playing, myself dying, not just my best clips. I usually post my best clips at the beginning of the video, but the accurate representation is you are going to miss shots. You're not going to be perfect every time. You strive to be perfect, but we have something that's called human error. We are not going to be able to aim by everybody or have that aim by aim all the time okay it's like a bodybuilder you see people posting with their shirts off they're just jacked but they're not like that all the time it's it's something that you just have to recognize and learn and something that i had to recognize and learn that okay sometimes i hit some really good shots sometimes i don't hit some really good shots sometimes i'm missing shots all over it takes time you're not going to be a aim god. The most important thing is to be as consistent as you can and improve over that, recognizing your errors, recognizing your mistakes. And most of the time, it doesn't come down to your aim. It comes down to your positioning, how you're playing, and how other people are uh, shooting you. Maybe you were just in a bad position, right? That's another thing. So when it comes down to playing on mouse and keyboard, and this is like the most important video that I can say, don't copy anybody else's sensitivity. Don't copy anybody else's, you know, uh, monitor coefficient. You have to find something for you. And a good starting point is someone who plays between, you know, a 20 centimeter 360 on up to an 80 centimeter 360. Maybe you are an arm player or a wrist player. In reality, when it comes to aiming, you utilize both, both uh, your arm and wrist, but usually, um, if you're playing at a higher sensitivity, you use your wrist just a little bit more than your arm. I like to have a balance of using my arm and wrist, and that's what really helps me. But for you, it might be something completely different. A lot of people always ask me, Newt, why are you changing your sensitivity so often? Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Worry about what you're doing. You don't have to worry about sticking to one sensitivity. That's a, a misconception that it's the biggest lie, you don't need to worry about that. Play what is comfortable for you. I'm knocking this down right now. Muscle memory is a complete myth. Don't even, anybody that says, oh, your muscle memory just does, don't listen to them because every single good aimer is gonna tell you that muscle memory is a myth and it does not work. Or muscle memory in the thinking that you're thinking of because we have to adapt to so many different things. Think about it. If you think muscle memory is something, well, what about you're playing a game and the recoil is not the exact same all the time, right? Or maybe you're in a different scenario. Maybe you are, I don't know, three centimeters off of this wall. Okay, now you gotta flick a little different, right? It, it, it's not the same. It, it doesn't work like that. Come get it out of your head. Play on whatever you feel like playing on. The most important thing is learning and controlling your mouse to do what you want it to do, whatever sensitivity you are playing at, right? People like Matty uh, OW or like Aimbot Neon, they will tell you, hey, listen, I use different sensitivities when I'm aim training. Well, you would think, okay, why would I have, why would they, why are they using different sens sensitivities? Because some, some uh, scenarios work better with faster sensitivities, some scenarios work better with slower sensitivities, right? So right there, the myth is completely gone. You don't have to worry about that. So when it comes to you, when it comes to you actually going on your mouse and keyboard journey, it is a journey, not a sprint, not a marathon. It is a journey. You are going on this and you're gonna put time into it. You're gonna learn a lot of things about yourself along the way that is going to help you when it comes to you playing. You got to play the game a lot. Whatever game you're playing, you have to play a lot. You got to learn the routes. You got to learn 
what to do in certain scenarios and you got to get yourself into certain scenarios sometimes it's okay to camp sometimes you have to camp sometimes you have to run around it all depends on your play style some people camp okay whatever you want to camp you want to hold down a position good for you but can you aim have you gotten into enough engagement so that when the time comes to engage an enemy can you hit those shots most of the time when you're camping you don't get into that many engagements so that you just miss your shots when someone pushes you that's the difference you want to be good at something be good at like be good at it right you you have to get into engagements you have to learn the different routes some you got to realize you're not going to get high kill games if you're camping right fine by me whatever i'm a rusher i like rushing around i like i, I would say i'm a smart player i i i i'd like to put a lot of thinking into the play that i'm about to make and if i have to camp i will camp if i have to rush i will rush if i have to slow it down and play more methodically i will do that adapting to all different play styles it's just a journey you're going to have to find it out for yourself and i'm here to help you along that way so for 2024 let's just make a good mouse and keyboard year let's improve together as always guys remember stay blessed and stay humble and i'll catch you in another video peace